human organ trafficking has for so long been a critical matter that government has been fighting against in a bid to put an end to organ trafficking health minister dr jen luther chen today has tabled a bill before parliament which was chaired by speaker anita mong named uganda human donation and transplant bill 2021 for the first reading According to the minister, the objective of the bill is to establish a legal framework for the regulation of organ, cell and tissue donation and transplantation in Uganda. I beg to lay the bill titled the Uganda Human Organ Donation and Transplant Bill 2021, accompanied with its certificate of financial implications, for the first reading, I beg to lay. Recently, we had debates about this issue of harvesting and, and this, and we need a legal document to that effect. Dr. Jen Luther Cheng says the bill also aims at addressing issues of organ trade and organ trafficking, which she says has become rampant. The bill is to regulate donation of organs, cells, and tissues as well as regulate transplant in this country. The bill is also looking at ways of having a storage for the organs, but also ensure that we address the issues of illicit trade that people keep on talking about every now and then. According to Dr. Acheng, the Parliamentary Committee for Health, led by Dr. Charles Ayume, should push for passing of the bill to help streamline processes. So we do hope that the committee that will consider the bill will look at it in its entirety and the public will be called upon to give in their contributions. The chairperson for the Healthy Committee of Parliament, Dr. Charles Ayome, on the other hand, wants government to put in place enough services to prevent the movement of Ugandans abroad for healthy and emergency services. We are ready for organ transplant as a country. The demand is a lot. Uh, these fundraisings, you see, to send people to India and Turkey and China for kidney transplants uh, should really stop once we have... Uh, the bill processed into an act of parliament. According to Dr. Ayume, the committee will make sure that the bill is well aligned. As a chairperson of the Parliamentary Committee on Health, it's incumbent upon my committee to ensure that uh, this bill is processed in the designated time so that at least before the end of the year we have uh, the act, uh, God willingly. Some members of parliament had this to say on the matter. It will be used as a scarecrow, especially to some individuals who may take it as a trade, as, as a general trade. I mean, trade in, in human organs. Recently, the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Immigration announced that it will start checking of body organs of people traveling out of the country for employment. Sarah Nakandi for CTV Pure Edition.